Thank you, President. President, colleagues, when 27 million um, people are unemployed, 25 million people living in poverty, when they have no prospects, then this is a, a major problem. One in four under the poverty and social exclusion uh, limit. When 10 percent of us possess 60 percent of the collective wealth of, Euro of Europe, Europeans, then it's the very existence of our society uh, which is at risk. Friends, when the climate is becoming deregulated to the point where we can imagine an increase in temperature of some 6 percent, when 30 percent of non-renewable resources have been used up over the past 30 years, when one-third of the species on this planet are threatened with extinction by 2050, it's the very existence of our societies which is under threat. Colleagues, when the governments, democratically elected and on a daily basis, subjected to the blackmail of financial markets and to the dictatorship or the permanent um, blackmail of banks which are too big to fail, when non-elected experts increasingly influence or actually write the texts of the laws which will apply to all, when in the name of freedom or sometimes profit, uh, private uh, life and liberty is under threat, then it's democracy which is on the line. And friends, I think time is limited. Jean-Claude Juncker, what we want is, are you, will you be the man of uh, a, a different Europe? There is no sustainability without, expense, uh, without uh, spending under control and sufficient revenue when billions are being lost to the exchequers every year by the magic of um, um, competition um, because of different tax systems, then clearly democracy is under threat. There's no future for a single currency and if there is not financial solidarity within the monetary union, will you be the man? Thank you. Will you be? <laughs> will you be the man of a social union which will replace the dogma of competition between systems of social protection and which replaces that by convergence in social protection systems, beginning with the advent of minimum wages across Europe and killing off this idea that many here like uh, of refit, uh, which is supposed to be simplification and, and end of red tape, but it would simply replace, uh, reduce and uh, curtail our social and environmental protections a la American. Will you be the man of energy which is more than just um, a union to buy gas? a purchasing union for gas? Will you do have a proper energy policy by means of efficiency um, in our distribution systems? Will make us the world leaders in a, a more ecological, environmentally conscious economy? Will you be the man who in Europe will be able to have Europe speaking with one voice and not be the laughing stock of um, Vladimir Putin with uh, Ukraine and uh, without a voice in the major conflicts, in particular the Middle East. Now finally, um, and this is a, a big point, will you re-democratise uh, Europe? Will you be the man to re-democratise the institutions and also Europe itself? Today that is what is at stake in, for, in people's um, minds. The European Parliament and also national Parliament must be fully involved in the political loop and the social partners must be involved whenever there are things which d d affect them directly. Can you ensure that our citizens increasingly are directly involved? The European Citizens Initiative is there. We need a democracy which is much more participatory and the lobbies of whatever kind must uh, be re reduced to simply defending private interest and not actually penning legislation, writing the laws. Now, are you the man? I hope that you are. Quite sincerely, I have known you in the Econ Committee, Economic and Monetary, and I'm, I tend to uh, uh, believe in you. However, let's not forget those who support you today. And the fact is that the three main political groups supporting you today, or who said that they will, are also the political families which are in power in Europe and have been for decades. If they wanted to do things differently, then no doubt they would have done it differently. And yesterday I heard from uh, Mario Draghi in the Econ Committee, and what he was saying was this, reform, um, structural reforms, reducing tax, 
increasing flexibility in the labour market. And it's clear that for him, the things that happened on the 25th of May um, have no importance whatsoever and can be safely ignored. But I think that we are a house divided. Um, the, 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 the challenge ahead is modest, but it's real. Uh, we are heading for more democracy. Gab Gabby Tenner is right. This is not the great democratic revolution, which is by a magic wand, turn Europe into a, a democratic institution. Um, and yet, so we want to support you. But we, another part of, my, of our group, a substantial chunk, does not have the confidence. They're asking those questions about, in looking at your backers and your, uh, your friends. Are you going to be able to um, bring about the radical change Europe needs? Whatever the result of the vote, uh, Mr Juncker, can I assure you that whenever your commission brings to this House proposals which respond to the challenges of the times, which make Europe an area for shared prosperity and sustainable prosperity, and a democratic uh, area, you will, we will be behind you. Thank you very much.